Today I worked on this called this lab called Letter Despair. It's basically a, a PHP mailer script. Let me open up very quick here. As users, we will be going to this mailer um, interface and insert the details about email to, from, message, and such, and then send them send the email. Well, it's an application for uh, for uh, PHP send mail option. Here, there is a function called mail. But uh, it's not really practical or uh, realistic lab because you don't really provide this much flexibility to the user to send emails directly from a PHP script because there is room for users to exploit and to play some command injection. So let's talk about that. Um, on this website here, um, I can copy it again, go to a new tab. So there's a um, zip file. I opened that in Visual Studio Code. Basically, uh, it's a long code here. And with, towards the end, there is HTML portion. Well, um, this public function send is really taking the arguments and returning uh, this send mail function in PHP. And this mail function has five arguments. The first three are straightforward. It is the um, two section, two input. It's a string. That is the recipient of this email. Subject is about the subject line. And, and the third one is the output message body. These are all strings. And then the fourth one is header. And the header is for passing additional uh, info about the email, such as the CC, BCC options, from option, and and what would you what the program will do when you reply to that email, which address it will be sent back, and such. And the fifth one is this important one, which is called the um, additional flags. This additional flag, and it has been exploited a lot. So my understanding is that PHP now offers you the set mode where this fifth parameter is disabled because this uh, fifth parameter, the additional flags is really to configure the uh, uh, settings for the send mail program, right? It is communicating with the program to send the email and it is um, uh, providing the path, the file types and and the further settings. And in that, uh, in that um, additional argument, PHP introduces an escape shell command to prevent com potential command execution. But based on what I've read so far, that still doesn't quite address this issue. Well, um, And finally, once this mail uh, function gets executed, it returns true if this email is successfully accepted for delivery, and it will return false if the return bounce, if the email bounces back. And um, typically, on this lab we will be using this additional argument and change the configuration settings. And my understanding is that we will have a new directory for logging the files. So we will change the default directory for log filing. And then we will be executing remove codes and the codes will be executed inside the log file because the expectation is that there will be strings coming in but we will be sending comments they will get executed and we will follow 
the results of the codes we injected and get the info we need to capture the flag, basically. And um, here on this simple case, I worked on a couple of cases. Basically, you can just, so in this from email portion, where the mail, um, mail argument or mail function is expecting a string argument as input here, we can have extension to that email address where we have O Q directory with that we set as tempt and then dash capital X and a new directory for file login. Basically here dash capital O is really telling the PHP uh, um, PHP script that we are changing this mail queue directory from whatever it is to temp, and we know that uh, temp files are executable, readable. They are uh, they are open for exploits. Um, this will give us flexibility, and also we will be using this tech x comment and that is really telling us that telling telling the code to write all traffic on this log file so this gives us the um the the vector attack vector we need we will be able to track down the log files and we have control on the directory for keeping the logs and also the email queue. As the next step, we will inject the code and we can do it on this subject line where we can have simple comments on this get, uh, get dictionary and uh, we can have this CMD. So if, if I run this as it is now, logs will be written on this on this file. Let's change it to logs file. Logs PHP file. And then this is the code to be executed. All right. So I will run this and here I will go to and I will have this logs.php and here I see uh, that my comment has been executed and logged in here. Then as the next step, I can add more to that comment. I can add this query cmd command uh, and and ls and i like the list the content on the root directory ls so now you see that i have a new entry to the log showing the uh, list of the contents in the in the root directory and we have this like that. So what I can do then is I can go here and then cut out the flag that uh, txt, and I have to put this slash forward slash, and that will give me the flag. I can now go to the um, submit flag option. This is relatively simple lab i will submit it and um, this lab will be complete well in short it is a it was an easy lab because it's a very well known function in php and um, the 
usefulness of this challenge is that it's very common to use PHP for sending emails directly. So we know where things can go wrong. And as I've mentioned, based on what I read so far, this uh, fifth um, argument on this mail function in PHP that is disabled in the safe mode, so it is not available to general use. Only if you are a developer, then you can turn on and use it um, for your uh, project. And there's there are beautiful um, walkthroughs on this. This is one of them. I find it very useful. Um, it goes through the the details of the of the lab, and the other one is this one. Let me find it very quick. Um, I think I closed the other one, but that is another application for the same lab using Burp Suite for intercepting the traffic, but essentially does the same work and does the remote comment injection on the subject line where the mail function is expecting a plain string. And um, that's all about this lab, thank you.